a friend of mine who's a professor in Saudi Arabia, Dr. Abdullah Al-Qadi, who's a scholar of Islamic sciences, but he's also a world-class city planner, recognized in the United States for his work with GPS and city planning, who got his doctorate from Portland University. He actually did a study on the building of the trench in Medina and shows that this is one of the most extraordinary events in terms of pure planning, the engineering of it. The Prophet ﷺ was a profound planner. He was not somebody that did things ad hoc. He was always in a deep state of awareness of his Lord, but he was always somebody who understood the asbab, the means that God has given us to do things in this life. And if you read Imam al-Qattani's extraordinary work, Taratib al-Idariya, showing you that the Prophet ﷺ created institutions in Medina. A lot of people don't know that there were actually close to 40 mosques in the city of Medina during the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. People think that only he founded his big mosque and everybody went. No, he put a mosque in every neighborhood because he wanted people to have community. And this is why having many masjids is actually a positive thing. It's not a negative thing. Masjids were meant to be in a height, in a neighborhood so that people could come together, worship together. He even had people making masjids in their own homes. And so people had a room that was used for ibadah in their houses. This is the way of making the sacred permeate the mundane. And so the Prophet ﷺ was a great builder of institutions. And this is something that's really important. Our community developed some of the greatest endowments in human history.